So SDV, my dad and I started it back in 2016, having been in the Marine Corps for, you know, he did 32 years, I did four. We wanted to look for ways to help out with the, the VA, you know, and find opportunities to work there, make the VA a better place, just any way we could. We got a contract doing furniture with all the VAs across the country. So I came up with the idea really in 2015 after uh, graduating from Army War College. Contacted my son, contacted one of my Gold Star parents who had experience in the furniture industry, had experience of selling to the government as well, and, and also massive experience of starting a small business. So we came up with the idea of how to serve the VA through office furniture and um, designing spaces that actually heal veterans. A lot of people ask, you know, how does it work with your dad? He, he always strives for the next level. He's always pushing himself and those around him to be better and to achieve more. Super hard worker, can start something from nothing. It's just natural for him to look for ways to, to help out other, especially other entrepreneurs. So right now we handle over 35% of all the VA's furniture across the country. Uh, we've serviced service VA's from Alaska to Puerto Rico to Hawaii and every other state in between. And it's really neat to see how uh, a team can come together to solve a problem or at least be part of the solution for taking care of veterans. Our mission from the very get-go was to just have a, as much of an impact with the veteran community as we can. You know, being veterans ourselves, my dad's had several combat deployments under his belt and has brought back you know, Marines that have gotten hurt and have lifelong injuries and depend on the VA for their health care. Right now we're sitting in a construction zone for the, the STV office systems and STV medical headquarters. Uh, we'll be finished here hopefully by the middle of June and we're gonna have a grand opening August 25th. We're gonna celebrate that we planted a flag here in Buncombe County.